that real this time around. The Warriors United will never be Uh, how do you think it went today? Um, small, but you know, uh, I guess it's kind of a it's good. It's good to have anything to begin with. So, um, I mean, look. To be fair, the Indian nurses went out in support of the uh, ANF dispute um, recently. Um, yep. That was a very small group, probably about the same size as the one we had today, actually. So. Tit for tat, fair's fair, I think. <laughs> Return the favour. Yeah. Uh, it'd be nice if we had more people down here, it really would have been. Uh, but that being said, getting the movements mobilised takes a while, but one, when it does, we tend to rock up in large numbers, depending on how important the issue is and depending on how much they can twist the, twist the members' arms to get there. How do you feel about uh, media union bashing? Shit. My uni cops all the fucking time. <laughs> CFMEU. For sure, for yeah, sure. Many for times sure. they fucking cop media bashing con consistently. You know? He opened the Herald Sun recently, any fucking story on the D South? Or anything else for that matter? No, we, we, we cop the left, right, and centre. It, it's, and it's no secret, there is a concerted campaign to fuck us up. Uh, I'm not denying that at all, you know? There's no conspiracy, they really air out to fuck us over. <laughs> so, any uh, final words for workers of the world? Get off your ass and take over your own workplaces. Fuck union officials, okay? As much as they may mean well sometimes, fuck the hierarchy. Organise amongst yourselves and work from a uh, self-management model. Because um, you'd be surprised at how well it works. Argentina. Yeah, Argentina. Uh, a lot of places, actually. Um, you know, if you want to go out, go throughout history, um, look at Spain in the 30s. Look at the anarchist communes in Spain. Yep. Read your history and never forget your history because you're always going to get some revisionist fuck trying to tell you a completely different side of it. Uh, not a different side of it, a, a different spin on it. There's a lot of revisionism as far as history and the left is concerned, especially from the establishment left. Especially when it comes to things like actions taken by anarchist movements. Especially. Uh, Russia, namely, and Spain. There's a lot of fiddling with the facts going on, and all I have to say is re you know, read the personal accounts of people who were there, do your homework, don't be fooled by the media, don't be fooled by the establishment left, and don't be fooled by the establishment full stop. Because I'd like you not to know that maintains the status quo, keeps the ball rolling the way they want it to go. How do you think it went today? Yeah, well, it was obviously a much smaller turnout than the 100 million workers in India, but given India is so far away, it's good to see that there are at least a sizable group of people here who care about the issue. How do you think they're going overseas? With what they're striking for in India today are things like an increase in the minimum wage, which in India is a lot more desperate a need than it is here because their workers don't even earn enough in many cases to meet their basic basic elements of survival like food and shelter and the like. But here in Australia as well, you know, we find that the minimum wage here is constantly falling behind inflation and it's a fight even to keep it up to that level. So I think that's a common concern that brought a lot of people out. Also the, the end to casualisation, outsourcing of work, things like labour hire, they're things which are really undercutting job security here in Australia and that's also a major demand of the strike in India today. So I think Indian work's obviously doing it tougher than, than we are, but I think it's valuable as workers to see the commonality of the concerns and in particular as Australians not to be blaming Indian workers when work goes off short of them, but just acknowledge that it's employers who are chasing the the lowest cost and really exploiting people who are in a desperate situation that we should be blaming. Go past City Square on Fridays, uh, you'll see that there's, there's um, you know, people from, from different you know, colours, creeds, uh, some wearing suits, some you know, with dreadlocks, um, and you'll see them uh, discussing um, in, in circles, in workshops, and uh, to me that's something I've never seen before in my life. And, um, and you go around anywhere else in the city, you just won't see that, that, kind, of, uh, that kind of community and people coming uh, together democratically. As, as, as you know, um, you know, uh, about two weeks, ten days ago, you know, the Greek government, you know, passed 
the new austerity measures, a uh, new packet that, you know, uh, is leading the Greek people, you know, working class and uh, everyone in a new uh, position, a really bad position, you know, uh, uh, there is uh, another estimation about 22% you know, of the wages and also you know, other you know, uh, uh, measures you know, are coming you know, by the mid you know, of this uh, year. I think you know, in June or July uh, they will uh, abolish the national bargaining uh, scheme, you know, uh, meaning workers you know, can't you know, negotiate you know, their uh, working conditions, wages and stuff like that, which is really bad. And we've got, you know, um, you know, a number, you know, the last two years, you know, a wave, you know, of uh, general strikes and, um, you know, demonstrations, you know, most of them, you know, turned violent. <coughs> the movement is still going on. Uh, some of people, you know, they still believe that they can overthrow the government and together, you know, the austerity measures. But yeah, I think, you know, uh, yeah, uh, Greece, it's like an experiment, you know, what is to come, you know, for other countries like uh, Portugal, Spain or Ireland, something like that, yeah. Look, man, this ain't about hip hop, man. This ain't even about no motherfucking movie, man. This is about life. This is about dedicating yourself to a dream that people tell you ain't shit. And this is about looking at them 